Hello, beautiful people. My name is Nastaku, and welcome back to Wolf Among Us. Uh, we got Bloody Mary. That's what it is. And now we're going to confront the Crooked Man. This might be our last episode. This might be our last episode, and I'm kind of sad about it, but so excited for to see what happens. Oh, we still got yellow eyes. Hello. You have Hello, a gun in your baby. hand. You look tired. I saw Give the gun. One good reason not to rip you apart right now. It, there, that's a reason. No. I won't miss next time. How many bullets you got there, Before huh? Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. What? Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. You're dealing with me now. That um, that's the plan. That's right. What happens to you once you get there is a different story. Yeah. I'm not quite finished. You will bring me back alive. That's what she wants. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. That's it. I Can agree with that. Agree on that. I agree with that. I will have a trial. Uh, Are we clear? Why would you want the that? The whole town will be calling for your execution. Why would you want me to bring you back there? Yeah. Why don't you let me worry about that? He's gonna do some manipulation Look, tactic. There's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. <laughs> this is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. You killed I your wife and child. Women. You killed and your I wife and you child. All I'm asking for is a chance I believe to explain my side of the story. I believe Maybe Georgie. He didn't carry it out. I don't think Georgie was lying when he said you ordered their death. Yep. Georgie would have said anything to save himself. We both know that. No, 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 no. Not I'm his last minute. Not a killer. You killed There's your wife and child. There's a lot you have to answer for. And I will. As long as you agree to my terms. You don't have... Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. You have no standing, you little bugger. Point, but just so we're clear... If you change your mind and decide to do something stupid, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. I mean, you're the one that's scared backing up. You're often <laughs> reckless. And I worry you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. Oh, what he's freaking you out. care about here? Where this case is concerned... It's about faith. It's about Fable Town. It's you really about justice. Or do you just want to look? It's about like all of them, really. It's about Fable Town. This is about protecting Fable Town. When some asshole murders two of our people, it's my job to bring them down. Yeah. Then why are you here? What? You know who murdered them? Brother. We... Georgie. You do more than that, and you know it. He's oh, we have a little dead, cut on our lip. He? My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? <laughs> I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. Nope. It's over. It's not. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. No, we can't kill him. Let's All go. Right, let's go. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it, if you don't mind. What? what uh, do no. Hey. That's my gun. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Such a reliable pup. Uh, I understand why she'd want to keep you around. Ignore him. You're under arrest. I don't... You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. We've been a good boy. And your punishment will follow. We're gonna stay a good boy. Even though I hate this dude. We're gonna stay... He's tall. He is tall. Oh. You have no bodyguard. Now what? Complete chapter four of episode five. How many chapters are there usually? Five? I think, I know, I think I know, this is it. But we have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to- Oh, everyone's here. Hello! He's back. <gasps> the crooked man. Thank God. Hiya. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Grimble. Based. Are you okay? I'm okay. It's been hours. Fine, he didn't make you it were easy. You'd run into some trouble. Uh, he didn't make it easy. Man's place. No, he didn't make it easy. What happened? It doesn't matter. He's here. We got him. Okay. We can talk about it later. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. 
Not that you did well, but everyone that, doubts you know, me. Everyone doubts me. I can't I'm just stand it. Glad you made it back in one piece. Aw, Snow. It's about time you showed up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. I'm down. Yes. What are you waiting for? You yep. killed Lily. She was my sister. Yep. What do you have yep. to say for Where yourself? the fuck do you get this off? Oh. You think you have the right to <laughs> just do this me? to people? You're a fucking crook. This. You should be ashamed. There's a letter on the table. Everyone, can I have your attention? Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. Please. I want to see how this- The man is charged with the murder as of I Faith and- As I already informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Uh, Georgie. you gave the order. I don't mean to interrupt you, Miss White. Georgie may have killed them. But you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my <laughs> sister? Uh, well, where yeah. is he? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't he, you? He died. Yeah, Sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel oh now? Oh my gosh, I don't is like this guy. Is he still out there? He wasn't behind it. Don't hope. worry about it. Well, where is he? I don't want to say I Sheriff? killed him. He wasn't behind Georgie it. Georgie was a victim of this psycho too. He was pushed into the whole thing and now he's dead. He's yep. What? There you go. Dead. So you see, that was the best way to say it. Not I killed him. There's no that doesn't change anything. We'll deal with it later, but right now you're the one I'm concerned with. You Let's go, Snow. Shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. I and was I told don't... I would be allowed to speak. No. We have to read the rest of the charges. What right, go charges? ahead. How about I kill you if instead? You this moment. is not going to work. We're in front of, of people. Let her finish. Right. Let her finish. Then you can have your say. Got it? If you insist. <clears throat> I'll defend you, Snow. You are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order. There you go. Inciting violence against various members of the Fabletown community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. <laughs> a misunderstanding. Aiding and providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding Forced? Additionally, you are charged oh, with yeah, multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the interrupt. illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. No, I don't want to interrupt. Now, is there anything you would like to say? <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily. So you can strike oh my gosh. Like book. Bullshit! Second. Like hell you didn't. You're responsible, let him speak. The rest is enough. Involved. It's obvious. And there's you're all the other crap he's done. I know you're responsible. You've been behind all of this from the beginning, so cut the shit. We all know who you are. You're not going to be able to manipulate. Just give it up already. The crooked man has committed crimes against this government and, most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death. Upon which your body will be committed to the witching. Where it fucking belongs. <laughs> yes. so let's get but on we with promised it you a chance to defend yourself. Which is not going to work and well. I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? Really this is about it justice. <laughs> if we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things. Guys, correctly. don't worry, he'll die. No more snap judgments. No more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. Hmm. This is ridiculous. Why are we uncuffing? Dude, his legs. His legs are broken. You have the floor. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, are you going to get to your point or what? The manipulation. Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with Tell it. This is such bullshit! Oh, always been a bit of what Georgie a said. Egg. Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? I would never authorize such an act. Yet yeah, you killed and your you wife and child! you believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your question. It was a trap. I was attacked. I was attacking about. Yeah, and your goons attacked me. Did you forget that part? They get a bit carried away sometimes. <laughs> of course. Too. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me. 
as I protected them. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. Oh, you don't you dare look at Snow like that. Man. They didn't want to Just protect to you. Save someone. I think you're done. They didn't want to protect yeah, you. Right. They don't do it because they want to protect you. You intimidate people. You scare tactics. They're afraid if they don't follow orders, they'll end up dead. Yes. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that. Hired help. I see some of them are here among you. <laughs> they are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. Not with what Bloody about Mary. Lily? She wasn't free. She wasn't given a choice. Do you really think she wanted that any of those girls wanted their lives like that? Exactly. Sorry, the echo is crazy. I'm sorry that your sister asked me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my better judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right. He hires kept them? them in debt so they couldn't What? Leave. He yeah. hires them? That's so That's weird. That's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in line. You forget it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. You are. When your government abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners, I was there to look out for you. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yes, but wasn't we didn't have been anybody. That was Crane. Don't turn. That was Crane. Crane was the one who let this town go to the fucking dogs. The guy who was in your pocket, remember? There you go. He was embezzling what about money. Patch Greenleaf. Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that matters, anyway. Oh, about her With daughter. Nowhere else to turn. She came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I oh. got her tree back. And in turn, we used her magic to help poor fables get glamours. No. Because I helped her, she was able to make a living, provide for herself. And what did they do? For the longest time, not much. But they asked me to come work for them. Yes! Really? The new deputy mayor wants you on the 13th floor? No. The wolf offered me the job. She wanted my tree destroyed. If she had had her way, I'd be hung out to dry on a clothesline by now. But we're fine. What? what? No, we're fine now. What? You were gonna Wait. burn her tree? Snow isn't Snow? to blame. Don't try to. Why don't try to manipulate us. I know what you're doing, and it's not gonna work. You can't manipulate us or these people. We're not here to talk oh, about this. Oh, we're not. Big Bay just. This is important, and I'm glad it's being talked about. <sighs> That's, you know uh... why I asked him to destroy your tree. You were working with Crane and the Crooked Man. It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. Please. You hated Crane, and you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with the Crooked Man. We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. I, I kind of agree with that, but Snow's and doing it the wrong that way. That may not always be clear right away. But I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. Yeah, I think she just let her emotions. And so does the sheriff. I care. Yeah, right. I can't I'm promise to you perfection. You. We didn't get you into this no mess. No one can. We'll do better. But I can promise to always have your best interests at heart. We'll do better. Things haven't been great for a while now, but we'll do better at protecting you from people like him. The crooked man's been exploiting you. Exploiting your hope for a better life. Yeah. You would go to him for help. He took Lily and Faith from us. He never cared about any of you. And add he it took to Lily and Faith from us. He took Faith and Lily from us. And while we can never get them back, we can certainly punish who's responsible. Thank you. Oh. You're right. <laughs> yes. You're all still afraid of him, even now. Well, Bluebeard has no reason me. to be afraid. His contamination of this town yes. is over. And those girls will have their justice. Yay! Yay! The gang's all together. Freak you, crooked man. Very good. Very good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. Oh, you're so annoying. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the- Georgie murders. was working for you. Bigby got a confession that- A confession that, that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke, especially given Bigby's history. Okay. What are you talking about? You can't talk your way out of this. What about so? your history? What about you can't talk your way? So, what about your history? And what about your history? 
All you've done to this fucking town. What do you mean there's no evidence? Oh my maybe, gosh. Maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel Wow, right, you guys really know how to flip-flop. I just Of need. course it's right. This man tormented all of you for profit. Georgie Let killed him. Let me just him. make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did because he was working for me at the time. Uh, yes. We're, of we're course. With this. Yes, you're responsible. Yes, you're responsible. If I'm to blame for Georgie's mistakes, shouldn't Miss White be held accountable for Bigby's actions as well? What did I do? Like what? I'm a good boy. How about the way he treated poor Tweedle D when he was in your custody? That wasn't me. That was, was Bluebeard. He was into mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch. Maybe he Bluebeard did that. Snow wasn't think involved. We'd all just let that Bluebeard go. did that. That was Bluebeard, not me. He was a murder suspect. <laughs> Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Yeah, it's his fault. Right before you decided to kidnap him. There we go. It was for his own protection. Uh-huh. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. That's enough. <laughs> so, you won't answer for your employee's behavior, but I must perish for This mine. is completely different. I we did all... not order those two girls dead. It's simply never happened. Okay. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me but for their own But you did much more. It doesn't ends, matter. But they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. This isn't right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. That's not we'll true. deal with I'm them not, after we deal with you. Listen, I that's I not mean, true. I mean, a certain level of privilege should be afforded to three. To who? This is how it's always been. Yes. See, this is exactly to what I'm speaking. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world. And ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers? Oh. Judging you, treating What's... you as mindless Ooh, okay. children, too stupid to command your own destiny. You're so Not wrong! Me. Who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Okay, okay. Who will be the Bigby? Miss White. <gasps> Larissa. Hello. Excuse me. I. Dear. I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath? What's she doing? I'd like to. I, I need to say something. We're kind of in the. She has something to say. You don't need to Blue do this. Beard. Go ahead. Uh, of course. Go right ahead. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. Dear, I don't Just shut you... up. Ooh. You enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. Dude, she is nearing a but unibrow. You know what? Now it's my turn to talk. How are you? I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Did he? No. Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Uh, Be quiet. She we wanted you all free. Some order here. Vivian wanted you freed from the ribbons. She took her own life. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I don't think. Nerissa, my name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be. Just... He ordered them dead. This fucker. Faith and Lily. That's a lie. I was in the goddamn room when he did it. Faith and Ooh. Lily are dead because of you. The only two people who ever gave a damn about me. Aww. And now I can finally say, you're an asshole. <laughs> and I hope you rot at the bottom of the witching well for what you did. And this just confirms it. He made Georgie Good. do it. It was always him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say-so. Ever. You're going to take the word of a stupid... At least five other oh, girls will back me wow. up on this. We all heard you say five it. Five other girls? Did you now? Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty. Good enough for me. Me too. So that's it, right? Calm down the witching well. Nah, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's got to pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves. Oof. You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. Yeah, whatever. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. 
What? You take two Would people's lives you away could and just, now I you want mercy? You know no, 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 no. You go free after this. You're done talking. You're done talking, crooked man. You had your chance. Well done, then. Now for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? Huh? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison him. Lock him up forever. Somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. But why? Can it's we the same sure thing as dead. I can help. We'll use magic. That's I not good you. enough. Maybe there will be more if he isn't Hasn't stopped. Been I don't care. So we get, get rid of the danger. It would be everyone. Away. Listen up. Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. So I think this we... This is going nowhere. The witching world would be a prison. to make a decision. Who? I hope you aren't suggesting yourself. We Why should not? vote. We should have a vote. Make it democratic. Please. Do you really think that's going to work? He's right. Nobody can agree on anything. What about Bigby? What about him? He was appointed. He's the only official representative, really. He should be the judge. That makes sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. Fine. Are you sure? This isn't how it's- It's what the people want, Miss White. <laughs> okay. Mr. Wolf, it's your call. Uh, Just do what you think is right. Oh. Uh, uh. Hello. Yes, Sheriff. <laughs> Throw him down the well, do lock him up. Right. I don't- Teach him a fucking lesson. No. I'm throwing him down he the well. I'm not ripping his head off. Right. That would be amazing, but I'm not doing that. Not this way. What? Whoa! Whoa! Excuse me! Excuse me! <laughs> I didn't even get the juice! Okay, down the well you go. Ooh, a nice little... There you are. I hope you all remember this moment. Think of me Okay. when you try to sleep. Bye! You know, just between us, I was gonna let you live. <laughs> but now, you're going to miss me. Yeah, whatever. No. Bye-bye! I won't. Bye-bye! <gasps> <laughs> I feel like there's no difference. If you lock him up, there's a chance he could escape. It's not like he's dying in the witching well. For Lily. Probably died of starvation, faith. actually. Yes. Another one of us to erase from the books. Auntie Greeleaf, shut up. You didn't care if the strippers died. <sighs> oh, that was good. That was good. We did a good. I think we did good there. That was the best decision. I hope Nerissa wasn't lying. Her eyebrows were nearly touching. You saw that it was like, it was like really, it was really close at one point. One day later. Oh, well, we healed up nicely. Oh, oh no, that shadow's us. I was wondering if that was Beast. Hey, Sheriff. Hey, <gasps> Flycatcher. You, you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. I don't know. You're... I'll be down in a minute. Wait, you're okay. leaving for the farm? Great. He's leaving for the farm? But he's human. Oh. This fucking line. Hello. Uh, hey. Hello, hello. Good evening. Are they happy? Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf. Flycatcher left his keys. Ooh. Why are the keys defying gravity? Thank you. Everything okay? Is everything okay? You look- I'm- I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. She doesn't look too- We'll talk later, okay? She's happy. They don't look too pissed off. Which is a good thing, right? And of course, I'm you cut the line. White. <sighs> You're late. Of course. <sighs> I guess there's something you just can't change all the time. See what aggravated me. Someone's <laughs> gonna see you, Colin. <laughs> hey, Colin. Colin, go back to the room, you idiot. What pissed me off about what Crooked Man was saying, how the fable, how we, I forgot this place, the business office wasn't taking care of its residents and its people of Fable Town. Well, duh, because that's the, the crane was working for the Crooked Man. He was embezzling money for the Crooked Man. Of course that's not gonna work. So he, like, uses his own crime and what he did as his, like, defense. And that's what aggravated me. Yellow Brick Roadhouse. Roadhouse. No! 
no! I what? I'm going. Jesus. Does he go no matter what? We only have like five minutes. They carry me for fuck's sake. I don't give a shit. No. You forgot these. Oh, thank you. I it's said he didn't have to go. Morning, sheriff. Nice fucking day. Toad, I'm sorry. Ah, shit. Just go grab that, would you? I'm sorry. Sorry about all this. Uh, I tried to help. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? She's you doing... promised me I'll get another chance. But Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. I told her I had the money, but she didn't want to hear it. Really? Wait, Sheriff Bigby, I have something. <laughs> Why is you know, she doing he was that? You crying all night, poor kid. I hope the farm is better. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so... She doesn't deserve it. If you could bring it to her... Sure. Yeah, sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. It's a willow beetle. Mm -hmm. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. <laughs> I'm sure she'll love it. She yeah. said it was pretty. TJ, We're about ready thank to head you. Out. What's it like at the farm? Hopefully I've nice. Heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we sorry, don't have a choice a anymore. Safer there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, TJ. But uh, look on the bright side, okay? There's plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby, so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yeah. You don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> Come on. It won't be so bad. I feel so have you bad. Been there before? No. I'm, uh, some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves. So <laughs> you wouldn't know, would you? But there is a rip. but we know about the We're river. All set. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. Aww. Hey, Big B. Hey. Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? Must be missing. <laughs> he gets to stay. I don't know. I don't want to say anything. Roy, that's what I thought. I, I wanted you to stay, Toad. I promise I wanted you to stay. Oh, that hurts. I'm so sorry, Toad. Saying goodbye. Oh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Hello. Yep, look left and right, Bigby. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I it, guess I am. It's cute. I mean, it's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be oh, able to. Oh, it's not our. To, first off, we shouldn't even just... be touching her. You let it go. I understand. It's okay. I get it. Yeah, it's fine. Take your time. It looks cute. Listen, I, I came here because. I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. Oh, did you Not lie? Not sure where to start. <sighs> Faith, Lily, and I, we had this plan. We were gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then, Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. Aww. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I... I had no choice. You have to understand. What? You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they go just to silence someone who had physical evidence? I had to. What? Marissa, what did you do? I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. Ooh. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. You were trying to protect them. You were just trying to protect them. Yeah. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. 
But then, oh god. Uh, don't touch her. <laughs> She's crying. You want a cigarette? You want a little smoky? Here. Yeah. Thank you. Just thinking about someone hurting. I don't know if she would ever want to be touched right now. I don't know what happened, but that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there as he was telling me this, Faith walked in and I had to watch while Georgie... Jeez. Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you said... I know what I said. Oh, she did lie. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So uh. what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. <sighs> well, what's done is done. I guess uh, what's done is done. No reason I to know argue with he her. I ordered their deaths. I wasn't going to let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. Especially after. I think if it was just Georgie, night, he would have done it without faith. visiting Crooked Man. I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. You? I walked her over here, <sighs> and I left her. Just hoping that maybe if I couldn't save them could at least save the rest of us. So, that piece of fabric I found near there, that was you? Yeah. I cut my leg trying to get over the fence. So you... you started all this. I just pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just fade like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith mm. or Lily. Nobody cares about us. I don't have any more. It's not true. Not really. I I'm don't sorry, know. Marissa. Wouldn't we have seen I'm a cut on her leg when she was at the at the club? Attention. It'll be different now. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. Seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other and look out for no. us. <laughs> no one's ever I happy. I that a lot these days. I don't know where I we don't stand. Really know where we stand anymore. Things are just different. Yeah. Huh. Things are always different. Look, Bigby. After everything you've done for us, Maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. Hmm. You knew when to show mercy, and you brought justice to this town. Finally, because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. Aww. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew none of it matters. And then, jeez, Big B, crooked man, it was you. I hope I've at least done some good here. Yeah. You've changed this place, for better or worse. Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. Yeah, I agree. We were a good boy. Good boy, Big B. I'm so proud of him. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. Would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. See, like, I don't know. I... I don't know. I... <laughs> There's so many theories with that ending right there. Is she Faith or is she Nerissa? I think she's... Oh, I don't know. I think she might be... I think she might be Faith. 
I think she was. No, it doesn't make sense. I'll see you around, Wolf. Oh, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. I think she is. Right now, she's Faith, but she looks like Nerissa. And the reason why Swineheart was 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 doing the thing is because it, it's actually Nerissa. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I actually hope that the second game kind of tells us what it's going to be, but I don't know. We're just going to move on. We're going to move on. I think it's Faith in the end. I think Faith is actually alive and is looking like Nerissa. Um, what did you do to Georgie? You and 68% of players kill Georgie. Yep, that's right. Can this please work? Um, did you give the crooked man a trial? You and 89 point C You can give him- You don't have to give him a trial. You could kill him? How did you punish the crooked man? You went 38% through the crooked man down the witching well. Well, oh, did you accept TJ's gift for snow? You and 98.5% decided to accept TJ's gift for snow. Why wouldn't you? Uh, what were your last words to Nerissa? You went 54.8% of players. I hope I've done some good here. Oh, that was so good. I love this game. So, oh, Beast, you told him that you saw beauty outside the apartment. Beauty. You impressed her with your detective skills. <laughs> Bluebeard, you fought him after the interrogation. Lovely. Butcher, you offered him protection at the business office. Colin, you gave him a drink when he asked for one at the apartment, and you helped him avoid the farm. Yeah, there was just no reason to. I didn't want Toad either. Crooked Man, you took him back to the witching well, and you tossed him down the witching well. <laughs> Faith, you gave her money after the fight with the woodsman. Aww. Georgie, you took the money from Georgie Save Hick. Yeah, I did. Greenleaf, you offered her a job. Gren, you drank with Gren after Lily's funeral. There's no reason to. Jack, you made a deal with him. Lawrence, he could have been alive, man. He went to his place first. Gosh, I messed up there. Nurse, you gave her a cigarette during your final conversation. As we should have. Snow, you brought her along with you to the trip trap. These seem like so, like, small choices. Tiny Tim, you chose to wait for him. There was no reason to. TJ, you accepted his beetle and promised to give it to Snow. Hmm. Toad, you stood up for him when Snow wanted to send him to the farm. And I gave him money. And he still got sent to the farm. And why was that so loud? That's it. Why is it doing it still? There you go. <laughs> ah, what a great game. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to go to the Book of Fables. And we are going to um, read that, and I might go ahead and get some more of them so we can read them all. Continue the story. I actually really want to read these. I feel like it's worth the read. I read one of them. One of the, one of the Book of Fables is really, really good. Or not Book of Fables. One of the fables, like, what do you call it? It's like comic? Manga? I don't know what you call it, but it's really good. I had fun. It talked about Pinocchio like being like an adult and stuck in a kid's body. <laughs> it was so funny. He's like, I just want to be with a woman. Is my game frozen? Hello? Uh-oh. Did my... Oh. 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 Okay. All right. All right. All right. Little chappy. Let's read the book of fables. We got everything from chapter five. If I'm right. Yep. Here we go. Fable Town Justice. When a criminal is captured in Fable Town, the traditional procedure is to hold a formal hearing in front of the community or concerned parties. However, exceptions are often made to expedite the process. In reality, there aren't any hard and fast rules for these type of situations, and the extent to which policies are upheld can depend on who's being charged. Yeah, we, we noticed that. A new order, Snow White in charge. Can this be different? With Crane out of the picture, Mayor Cole has officially appointed Snow White as Director of Operations and Deputy Mayor in his absence. Many would say this promotion is a long time coming since she was instrumental in the establishment of Fable Town and personally ensured that many fables made it to the new world safely. She's also been doing the work of Deputy Mayor unofficially for years. Yeah, we've heard that. And Sheriff Big B. Aww, look at the both images. After fleeing the homelands, Bigby Wolf spent many years wandering through Europe. Oh, with a fable colony quickly developing in the New World, Snow White and Feathertop tracked down the wolf and offered him passage to Fable Town. He agreed, and Snow cut him with a lycanthropy stained knife to give him the power to change into human form at will. 
Oh, Bigby became sheriff of Fable Town under King Cole's administration, but because of his violent past, many Fables didn't trust him, and he was banned from ever setting foot on the farm. To this day, he struggles to redeem himself in the eyes of the community. Aw. So he... He got his, with what a lycanthropy stained knife to give him the power to change into human form of so was he just a wolf like otherwise was he just a wolf chilling out or was he a human and then he can go back to a wolf that i think he was probably a wolf it's probably a wolf and then they're like hey you want a job and he barked at them <laughs> okay 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 jokes aside i'm actually gonna go get the other books of fables let's see i need to do Oh, what do I need to do? I need to do all the way up to chapter three again, it looks like. Because I'm missing one and one, two and two, and two and three. Shouldn't be too bad. Obviously, I'm going to cut it because you've seen me play this entire series. And I hope you enjoy, by the way. But um, yeah, I'll be back, okay? those I had to do a lot of bad things for those i had to burn the tree i had to beat the butt out of the 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 the, the what's his name deedle dumb dumb whatever and i had to do that that was um that was delicious okay welcome back well i know it, it, it wasn't it was probably three seconds for you um maybe half an hour for me it's okay it's okay changed a little bit you know took my sweater off it was hot in here and now we can read the final books uh, that we were missing um and this is officially 100 percent completed wolf among us which i'm very happy about let's start with um i guess the beginning Bigby's vengeance long ago in the homelands the north wind fell in love with a blazing white she-wolf Taking canine form, he courted her and stayed by her side for two seasons. However, the wind by nature must change direction, and North's temperament carried him back to his wintry castle. She -wolf, the she-wolf was heartbroken, and soon after her lover fled, she gave birth to a litter of cubs, including the one that would become the big bad wolf of legend. Watching his mother die of sadness and unrequited love- Oh, wait, hold on. Sorry. Hold on. Hold on. I have a I, I have cat TV on for my cat and he's sleeping by the iPad. My kid's an iPad baby. Uh, watching his mother die of sadness and unrequited love, young Bibby Wolf swore vengeance against the capricious North Wind. Seven times the beast journeyed to the great castle, but was no match for the elemental might of his father. Having failed to taste vengeance, he swore to think no more of his dead mother or loathsome father. Buried hatred, however, is seldom forgotten. Aw. Aw, that's so sad. <sighs> Poor Bigby. He went through it, you know, but he, he did it the wrong way. Ichabod's Denial, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. During his days in Sleepy Hollow, Ichabod Crane fell in love with a wealthy young woman named Katrina Van Tressel. She was, a beautiful, she was beautiful and very rich, but that meant she also caught the attention of another suitor, Abraham Brom Van Brunt. As Ichabod's rival, Brom would plan nasty pranks in order to humiliate the often superstitious schoolteacher. Aww. Despite Brom's pl plots to win Katrina over, Ichabod believed he would be chosen as her favorite. After a party at her father's home, Ichabod proposed to Katrina and was very quickly rejected. He immediately rode off in shame and was never seen in Sleepy Hollow again. According to Crane, he was chased out of town by the Headless Horseman, but in reality, it was probably just another one of Brom's pranks. Aww! <laughs> Poor Ichabod, he can never get a win, never get a girl. Well, now that's why he's probably a creep now. The Magic Mirror. The Magic Mirror speaks mostly in rhyme and demands that others do the same. He also requires the name of whatever object or person you wish to find. If you follow these rules, the mirror will show you a glimpse of whatever you want to see. 
but nothing more. Well, we knew that. I mean, I didn't really need a book for that. Um, here we go. Headless Horseman. Hessian Spirit. Thought to be a spirit of particularly... Wait, thought to be the spirit of a particularly fearsome, especially macabre German military contractor. Jeez. The Headless Horseman lost his head from cannon fire during the Revolutionary War. Most famous for hounding Ichabod Crane one night in the woods of Sleepy Hollow. It is rumored that this phantom is only the most recent incarnation of a primordial demon whose previous forms include a middle-aged chieftain who brandished a whip made of human bone and a Scottish lord who was decapitated in a fight over shares of land. Jeez, man. Okay, sure. Sure, a demon. And the glamour tree, the last seed. Grown from a seed, spirited away from her family's enchanted orchard, this tree is the sole remaining source of Auntie Greenleaf's magical enchantments. Its bark is used for glamour tubes, its leaves are crushed for ointments and spells, and its twigs and sticks can be used as rods for a variety of entrancing purposes. <sighs> Man, that's it! That's it, guys! That is it! We did it! We completed Wolf Among Us. We 100 percent it and it is officially over for this channel oh look at that picture during every achievement look at <laughs> it's like an 80s photo what is that it's beautiful it's beautiful i love it is there a trailer for wolf among us 2 i wonder a wolf among us 2 is up and coming when's it coming out 2024 it's coming out soon how soon when <laughs> i'm so eager we could wish list it now Oh, I'm so excited. And he looks so different. Oh, we're like in a motel area too. Oh, when we get to fight, what's his name? What's his name? From um, uh, Wizard of Oz? Tin Man? Tin Man from Wizard of Oz. Also, Snow looks completely different too. I wonder, is that the Trip Trap? Wait a minute, what is this image? What? Oh, that's not Bigby. That better not be. That better. That better. That better not be. I don't think that's real. I don't think that's real. That guy's got a chin. Let me tell you. Um, and there's also this new character as well. Let me see if I can open. It's also her. Oh well, that's tiny. There's someone new. Obviously, obviously, there's gonna be new people. But I'm excited. I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. And um, yeah, this is this is the end of a of a beautiful journey we've had for I think around two months. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much if you made it this far in the series. And I appreciate you all dearly for supporting me. I just just thank you. You know, you guys do so much for supporting me. It motivates me, and I just appreciate you guys. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this series. Just it's so bittersweet to have another game series end. You know, it's like which would, but um. I hope you guys enjoyed and I, I'll see you in the next one. Have a blessed day, guys. Bye.